This is Dabu 7. We have scientists making what they're calling a major breakthrough here in terms of a nuclear fusion device in China that could change the future of clean energy. This is the HL3 Tokamak, and it's pretty much an artificial sun. It uses plasma that they heat to 120 million degrees to create nuclear fusion. And this, this produces about the same amount of energy that you're going to get out of a star, the average star. And they've been trying to get this down for decades. And nuclear fusion is a source of clean energy. It could power the entire world. To do so, scientists need to figure out how to manipulate this plasma. And the plasma isn't just something that you find in your TV. Plasma is called the fourth state of matter. And this is when atoms are moving so fast that they lose their electrons. Now, with that much heat and energy, plasma is incredibly difficult to contain. And that's where a magnetic field comes in. Scientists working on this tokamak artificial sun in China have powered it up and they have this new innovative magnetic field, so to speak, that they're using for the first time. And that their hope here is this unique design of the magnetic field could mean good things for nuclear fusion, mean, meaning that they can manipulate it and actually get something like electricity out of it. So with the magnetic field, that plasma inside the reactor could stay stable long enough for scientists to harness the power of nuclear fusion. Because it releases so much energy, they could, if they can harness this, they could get electric out to millions of people worldwide. This would change things big time. They've been change, uh, chasing this for a long time. It looks like if they can achieve containing this, with this magnetic field, which is very interesting in itself. We could see some big breakthroughs following this as well. But um, this artificial sun, no joke in terms of the energy and the power that it generates. And to me, they've already done all of this. They're just dropping the breadcrumbs to the public out there that they're about to release this in steps. Because I believe we're going to see a wave of technology connected to this in terms of being able to harness things inside of a magnetic field, propulsion, anti-gravitics, using mercury, all these different things you're going to see here soon. Um, that indeed is what's going to be put inside of aircraft, vehicles, so on and so forth. But one step at a time, and this is the first, so to speak, out of China, this big step in nuclear fusion. I'm going to leave a link. Join me for the live streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, where I talk about this and a whole lot more. It's been Dabu7. Much love.